Hey guys, as you can see, I'm very excited today. Um, it's here. It's here, and it's been here actually for like a week. Before we get into it, hey guys, welcome to the channel. If it's your first time seeing me, my name is Lisa. I make fashion, beauty, and lifestyle related content. And today we're going to be doing a Telfar unboxing, but not just any Telfar, y'all. This is the Telfar duffle. So yeah, we're about to get into this unboxing. I'm also gonna do like a mini sort of like Telfar collection, even though it's like very mini, but I'm gonna still show y'all because why not? Yeah, I'm not gonna talk your ears off too much. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open this box up. And grab my scissors. And if you don't know, actually, I've done a Telfar unboxing before and I wasn't able to actually get it directly from Telfar. So this is the first time that I've ever been able to get it directly from the site. And I got the small size. It comes in this plastic bag. Then of course we have the duster. This comes with all of the Telfars. Um, yeah. I don't think y'all are looking for real. Do y'all see this bag? This is so beautiful. I'm actually about to scream. So the outside pockets, this is how the end looks. It has that T detailing and then it has the same T detailing, the logo on the other side with stuffing of course so much freaking stuffing okay we get it actually these pockets aren't connected to like one big pocket they're two separate pockets and then one big main pocket all right now that i've got all that damn stuffing out we can actually take a look inside of the bag yeah the inside is just regular it has the t logo on the inside that's how you know it's a real telfar every single time there's no pockets or anything like that inside of the bag but it has like three main compartments. So just like for a size, to rationalize the size, this is how big it looks like next to my head. It's not that damn small. I actually think it's a pretty good size for a small duffel. So we do also have the option to attach this, this adjustable strap. It transforms the duffel from like a little handbag to a shoulder bag, which is really, really convenient. Like very useful, like for the airport, especially if you got like the bigger size, you could really use this as a nice little carry on. It looks amazing though. He actually put his foot in this like, Yes, this is what I'd like to see. So now that I've showed y'all the details of the bag, let's get a little bit into the brand background and you know how much I paid for the bag and my shipping experience and all of that. So if you're not familiar, if this is your first time ever hearing about Telfar, hi, hello, this is the brand that you need to invest in. Telfar is a black owned brand, but specifically Liberian owned, okay? The designer is Liberian American. If y'all don't know, I'm Liberian too, okay? And I said this in my last video, rep it L-I-B. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so naturally, as you can see, I'm very drawn to the brand for that personal reason. But honestly, he's fire. Due to the popularity though, his bags literally sell out within minutes. So you kind of got to catch it when you can. I always recommend to follow him on his social media sites. So you can always keep up to date when he's doing drops. But yeah, y'all, that's a little bit about the brand. Um, now let's get into the specifics of the bag. So the item I'm showing y'all is called the small Telfar duffel. It comes in three sizes, small, medium, and large. I paid $265.63 for this. That's a painful price. I'm not gonna lie, it's very painful, but it's extremely worth it. I think especially for this bag in particular, I, I would do it. I would do it, without a doubt. So this bag actually restocked on October 3rd. It took a little bit over a week to get to my house. Not too bad, you feel me? Like considering the high demand of these bags, I honestly was surprised that it came so quick. Obviously my overall opinions, I'm sure y'all can tell that I'm absolutely obsessed. I definitely think this is probably my new favorite bag in my wardrobe. The quality is top tier. The level of detail is absolutely insane. Like he really spazzed, he really went crazy. Like this is so far and I know, I know I'm gonna wear this a lot. I know. I say my only complaint which is like the smallest complaint ever is just how small this is like the zipper part isn't like super accessible for the space that's here but you know i will actually be okay like what am i really about to be bringing around nothing so yeah this bag is it now to kind of get into my telfar collection this is so why am i even doing this but <laughs> I just kind of want to give y'all a little bit of extra and just like a little bit more encouragement to show you guys the different sorts of styles. If you guys aren't familiar, the different styles and colorways that he releases his bags in. 
Of course, we're gonna start with my first Telfar bag ever. Um, and I think this is actually a really good idea too, so you guys can see how the bag has carried over time. So I got this, I think like a year or two ago. I will say one of the things I've noticed is that over time, the leather definitely softens up over time because it is vegan leather. I got this one in a size small. This also doesn't come with any pockets. We have the Telfar logo on the inside. Yeah, this is this bag and I really, 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 really like this actually. As you can see, she has done her time. She has really done her time. And then the last one to my collection, my my three little Telfar collection. This is one of their newer colorways. Um, this is in the color lavender. This I actually haven't worn much just because the color obviously isn't as compatible with outfits or as easy to match. But this is still the same standard shopping bag in the size small. You know, just to kind of show you the difference of what like a newer Telfar bag looks like as composed to a used Telfar bag. And you can just see how the structure changes over time. But it's honestly not bad and it's honestly normal for vegan leather. Here is my Telfar collection. Like, she's so different. We have different styles and different moods for whatever I'm feeling. And I love that for me. So, but all right, y'all, that's all I have for you today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.